The Student Database Management System Introduction It is a menu-driven student handling program that handles student data built using various C++ concepts used to perform all these operations and shows successful implementation of class and objects of the programming language including classes, file handling, loops, switch cases, and functions. The menu. A user can add, display, search, modify, and delete the student records. The user also has an option to show the student's class results all done using a menu-driven program. Key features of our program are First, add student records. This feature allows the user to add a new student data to the student database management system application. Second, show student records. This lists the details about all the students available. Third, search student details. To display the details of the search student. Fourth, modify student records. A new student's data can be added or an existing data can be edited through this function. Fifth, delete existing student record. The student name is given to delete a student's detail in particular. This then deletes it from the file. Sixth, display class result. To display the result of all the students based on their grades. Seventh and the last is exit program to close the student management database system application. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm Mudit Kapoor from CSC department in Bennett University. I'm here to explain you the code section wise and the concepts involved. So let's go. This is our student database management system. In this section, you can see we have included the header files, which are required to run the project. Um, then here, this is a class data type named students, which holds student data like ID, name and subjects, percentages and grades and class functions for different operations. So this is a class function calculate. It is used to grade assigned as per is to calculate the grade assigned as per the percentage of the student. This is done using if case. Uh, this is another class function get data and it is used to get data from the user of the student This function uh, show data is used to uh, display the data of the student entered by the user using file handling These are another class functions which we have, which we use, the in which uh, there are different operations which are happening uh, as per the user demands. Uh, this is a uh, function write student is used to write the details of the student entered by the user to the student .dat file which is created, and this is done using file handling. This function display alls is used to display all the details of the student stored in student.dat file using file handling operations. Um, this function display sp is used to display the details of the student as per the search which the user search as per using the id number. Uh, and this is done using file handling and while to search the while loop to search the data. 
there is another function modified student in which it 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 uses it is used to de uh, modify the details of the student searched by the user from the student.dat file this is done using file handling and if cases there is another func function delete student this function is used to delete the details of the student searched by the user in the student.dat file this is done using file handling while loop and if case this function class result is used to display the result of all the students calculated as per their student grades in each subject this is done using file handling and while loops here we have our main function which includes the menu of the program uh, the function is called at the program startup and in this the user will select the um, uh, option from any of the options which are in the menu like creating a student record displaying all the records searching etc this is done using switch cases the menu driven program so let's run the code and see for yourself so here is our menu and in this we can choose the option from 1 to 7 uh, and enter the data likewise like now i'm entering the data So you can see I have created the student record with the name Vipul Gupta and I've added the details of his and now um, what I'll do is I'll select the option of showing all the results. Here are the results some of them are earlier which I've feeded earlier and, the, and here is the, res, uh, the record which I added right now. Now let's search a record. Um, we have used ID number to search the record like I put mine 147 and here is my res uh, my data like I'm, my name my uh, subject wise grade and numbers and I, what my percentage is and what my letter grade is. Now let's just modify our data. Let's take for ID number 149 and in this the hit, this is the original data which we were having earlier and now I want to ch update this number. Suppose I want to uh, change the roll number that I've done it incorrectly previously. Now I'll add the details. So you can see the records are updated now. Now what I'll do is I'll show you the updated record also. Yeah, you can see the details have been updated right now. And now what I'll do is um, I'll delete a record. Uh, here is the ID number and you can see the record is deleted. Now you can see for yourself too. See, we have the record is deleted now. Now what we'll do is um, we'll display the results. And here you can see this is the results that were calculated as per the student grade. We are we're having a percentage, we are having a grade as per the assigned data. Um, that's all we have. And this is our whole student database management system. And now I'll just exit this program. And thank you for watching.